Hi everyone. Today um, we are going to be talking about banner animation again. Um, here recently, uh, over the past week or so, um, I've been getting some um, emails and some comments and stuff about people losing their backgrounds uh, following a previous tutorial that I had did. Um, and I had been planning on doing something again on banners. Um, I just don't mess with banners too much anymore. Uh, I don't uh, have a need to be making them now. Um, but there's still seems like there's a lot of people interested. Um, the thing is, is that they were saying that they kept on losing their background. Um, so if I go to filters, animation, and I play this uh, banner that I just made, um, it's nothing special, just something that I just threw together. You'll see um, that I have the background here and the GIF was over here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to open up the a second part to this. Um, and I'm going to, this thing allows me to raise this up just a little bit. And as you can see, uh, what I had to do was um, I start out with the regular uh, background and I had to go ahead and duplicate this background and set it in between each layer all the way up for each frame of the animation. And then what you do from here is you go and you merge these down. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go and I'm going to open up another GIF uh, just right here actually. And I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to save this real quick. And I'm going to come back over here and I'm actually going to close this one because I'm going to file. I'm going to go new and I'm going to open a new image. Press OK. And then I'm going to go file and then open as layers. And then I'm going to open this now. And... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click right here and I'm going to link all the animation together. Then I'm going to unlink the background and I'm going to press M on my keyboard uh, so I could move this layer around and I'll just put this over here. I'm going to press uh, shift T to bring up my scale tool and I'm going to scale this up. So I'm going to press scale now and I'm going to press M on my keyboard. And I'm going to press shift T again, and I'm going to scale this up just a little bit more. Press M on my keyboard. And we only want to get these guys in here. And let's try something like that. Okay, now we got to the background. And we'll just do something pretty simple for the background. Um, We'll go ahead and grab our color picker tool and we'll just click on this background right here and we'll sample a color from this image. Let's see, get that dark blue there. And then let's click back on the background layer and let's press M on our keyboard for the move tool. And then let's just drag and drop this color back here. And let's go ahead and click back on this layer. Let's find a darker color. something from right there and then let's click back on the background and let's just drag and drop it just to make it a little bit darker I'm not gonna go uh, into doing anything too fancy with this um, like adding a layer mask to all these like I did for this one over here because um, I just wanted to show you guys what you needed to do um, so there's 24 layers here on this one I'm gonna go ahead and hold down shift and I'm gonna click right here and I'm going to um, unlink all those because I do not want to move this at all. I'm going to press M on my keyboard to grab the move tool. And so we got 24 layers. So what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and duplicate this background layer 22 times. And let's go ahead and all we're going to do is we are going to set the background um, in between each one of these frames here. So 
So let's go ahead and let's grab this background copy 22 and let's just go ahead and drag this all the way up and then set it in between here. And don't worry if things look all messed up um, over here on the image, it will start making sense. This might be a bad GIF to show you guys because this one's already optimized and I do have some problems when they're already optimized for a GIF. Sometimes here in GIMP, but we'll just go ahead and go through this real quick. And I'll probably speed up the rest of this part process just so it don't uh, you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do these steps a bunch. Okay guys, I am back. And as you can see, it still looks uh, messed up over here. And then that's just because the GIF, like I said, is optimized already. Now on some GIFs, uh, the order that you merge these down uh, for some reason it does matter inside of GIMP. So um, today we are going to try to merge this, um, the background down first. So let's go ahead and right click and let's just click merge down and then let's move up to the next one and merge down into the next one. Actually, let's control Z, control Z. It's, uh, let's go ahead and there's an add-on that I have installed. I'm going to click on the very top layer and I'm going to go into layer and then multiple layer actions. And then uh, I'm going to leave it on all layers and I'm going to go right here and I'm going to um, click on image or layer to image size and I'm going to press OK. And that just goes through and make sure that all the layers are um, the image size. So let's go ahead and try that again and I'll leave a link to that plugin down below. So I'm going to right click and just merge down, move to the next one, right click, merge down, right click, merge down, right click, merge down, and I'll speed this process up and I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back and I got all those merged down. So let's go up to filters and then animation and let's see if this will play back correctly. And so we're gonna hit play. And as you can see, since that GIF was optimized already for another GIF, it looks super messed up. Um, so that is a problem that a lot of people have been having. And so if you see a GIF, like the one that we had, let me reopen it in its own little document here. And you see that it's optimized like this, like all these layers are uh, pretty much uh, all transparent and they just have the background. 95% um, of the time, they're not going to work. So um, I wanted to demonstrate that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Close out of this and we're going to discard the changes, discard the changes, and then I'm going to go to file, open, and I'm going to uh, open this GIF again, like I had before. And I'm going to go to file, new, um, and we'll just make this uh, 950 for the length. Press OK. And, uh, oops. I did that backwards. Anyways, we'll just go ahead and open this back up as layers real quick. And then I'm gonna hold down shift and link all those together and unlink the background. I'm gonna press move to grab my move tool, or I mean M, sorry, for my move tool. And you can move this on whichever side you want. Um, I'm just gonna move this over here for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back up to my layer, multiple layer actions again, layer to image size, all these again just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this layer. And I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but if I click on it, it sorta of kinda of gets a little bit bigger, but you'll see that the transparency is not there. And uh, these GIFs will indefinitely work. 
So let's go ahead and click on the background real quick and we're going to do the same thing again. Uh, we'll click on the first layer and we'll just sample one of these colors from here and click back on the background layer and drag and drop that. Let's grab something darker. Uh, let's try that color. Drag and drop, make it just a little bit darker. Let's go ahead and press M on our keyboard for the move tool. And I'm going to do uh, come back up here and I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to unlink all these again. And then the background layer, let's see how many is there. There's 36. So I'm going to duplicate this background layer 34 times. So, and I think the problem that a lot of people were having um, was that they were going up here and uh, they might have been clicking merge visible layers. Um, and that's not how uh, animation works inside of GIMP. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I did previously. I'm just going to drag, uh, grab this layer and drag it all the way up. And then all the way, all the way up. And then set it in between layer 36 and 35. And then so on and so forth. So I'll do a couple of these. And then I will speed the process up. Alrighty guys, I'm going to speed it up now and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I am back and as you can see, I got each uh, of the background layers in between um, the animation frames. Um, Another thing that I did want to mention that I was thinking about while I was doing this was if you want to add something uh, on the background, make sure you add it to the background before you duplicate all these layers um, and then put them in between here. Because um, if not, you're going to add something to one of these layers and then wonder why um, it's not going on to all the rest of the layers. Now in Photoshop... Um, it the, the, when you do a framed animation on there, um, it does kind of work across um, all layers. Um, that's just because there's a more advanced animation setup system in there. Um, but anyways, so what we got going on here is pretty much the same as we did uh, with the other one. And now all we want to do is we want to go through and we want to uh, merge the GIF layer to the background. We don't want to merge the background to the uh, GIF. We want to, I call them GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call them. Um, you don't want to add the background to the GIF because if I did that, um, I right click and I merge down, you'll see that your background is just going to cover up the GIF and it's going to uh, defeat the purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the GIF and then I'm going to merge that down to the background. So I'm going to right click and press merge down, right click, merge down, right click, merge down, right click, where's merge down, merge down, right click, merge down. And I'm actually going to show you guys a little uh, trick. So if you go to edit, then go to keyboard shortcuts and just type in merge uh, down. You'll see merge down right here, and I'm going to make it uh, control E. And what is control E? Export from the file group, huh? Okay, we'll go control. Let's see, it'll work better with my fingers. Control, control shift E. Export as control. That's weird on my fingers. Control Alt E. There we go. We'll set it for Control Alt E. Now I just come over here and I set on this and Control Alt E, Control Alt E, Control Alt E, Control Alt E, Control Alt E. And I'm going to speed up this process and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I am back. And that was pretty quick once I changed that shortcut. 
Um, normally, I do have a shortcut for uh, merging down, um, but I went ahead and uh, I had to do a fresh install uh, inside of GIMP the other day because I'm trying to fix my tablet inside of GIMP. Uh, but anyways, so I put my shortcut for merge down to control alt E. You could put it to whatever is easier for you. Um, and it speeds up the process a bunch. So now you'll see, I'll go to filters and then go to animation and then playback. And now you'll see that it plays back flawlessly. So that is how, um, you guys go ahead and add your background to a GIF. Um, I'm not sure what uh, everybody else was doing and how come they kept on losing their background. Um, but I imagine that's because they're right clicking and clicking on merge visible layers or something like that to make the whole process easier. Um, but you can't do that uh, with animation inside of GIMP. You have to, it's very tedious and you have to go through and do it one by one. Unless you want to download the plugin called AnimStack and learn how to use that. Um, which is a, to me, is kind of a complicated plugin to learn. So I just do it by hand because uh, it's easier and stuff like that. Um, there's one other thing that I wanted to talk about. So if we go to filters, animation, you'll, uh, you click right here, filters, animation, optimize for GIF. And give it a second. And you'll see down here that it says optimizing GIF. I doubt you can see that because I can barely see that. Um, then it will open up into a new image. And now you'll see um, it expands just a little bit um, that it is kind of transparent like that minion uh, GIF that I showed earlier. Um, but they optimize them just so it makes the file size better or better, smaller and uh and all that kind of good stuff. So I hope this uh, helps you guys uh, in your banner animations or animations in general inside of uh, GIMP. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please leave a comment below and I will be happy to help if I can. And I think that is it. So please like and subscribe for tons more tutorials and have a great day. Thank you.